Do they own all things 80s? Lego's most racist set ever. Here's the new Lego Red Indian set. Great canoe, isn't it? Hang on, it's a totem pole. Wait a minute, it's two canoes now. The new Lego sets, they have this funny habit of changing into something else. Hello, the totem pole's lined up. Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now, as you just saw in the commercial that ran there, Lego did in fact describe this set as being the Red Indian set. Now, you have to remember that back in the late 70s, early 80s, we were not so concerned with offending uh, other people. And as a matter of fact, the term Native American was something I never heard used when I was growing up. They were simply described as being Red Indians. And uh, also in an age where cultural appropriation was not an issue, I had many things relating to Red Indians. They used to have the bow and arrow set, which commonly came packaged with its own little feather headdress. We had the wigwam playset. We had the costumes to dress up as Indians. It was all just good-natured fun, with no offence uh, intended. Which got me thinking, maybe this Lego set, which actually is Lego set 215, was uh, just Lego going with the times and not really being too concerned with political correctness. However, I did notice when doing some research that Playmobil also did an Indian or Native American set during the same time period, but they did not use red plastic for the faces of these characters. They just used the standard yellow colour. So Lego really did push the boat out there in terms of what was deemed acceptable in those days, and I suspect if they were to release such a set in this day and age, one, it would not be called the Red Indian set, and two, the faces would definitely not be made of red plastic. So now that we've got that sort of back history out of the way, I'm just going to take a look at this set. Now, if you saw my recent video where I reassembled my old uh, classic space transport Lego set, whilst looking for those bricks, I did find these red-faced, red-handed little maxi figures, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to build this set because I remember it gave me a great deal of pleasure as a child. And uh, it also gave me a bit of an education because, as we see here, we have the squaw with her little baby uh, on the back there. And uh, I remember, you know, being quite proud of the fact that I knew that a Red Indian female or the wife was called the squaw. So that was a bit of an education for me. But this is a very simple set, and I've managed to preserve almost 100% of this set. The only thing I'm missing is one of the oars for the little Indian boys who were in the canoe, and the feather of one of their headdresses fell off. But it was just a simple time back then, and these were the simplest uh, Lego that I used to have, because these you know, we called them Lego people. Uh, in actual fact, the, the the body was just the top half of the torso. Um, and you had to make the legs out of Lego bricks, which, you know, compared to what we have nowadays, this was extremely primitive. But that's all we knew back then. Um, it wasn't until probably 1980 that I began to get sets with the minifigures. So I had many of these sets with these maxi figures. I had police, I had an aeroplane, um, not sure what else. I'll, I'll look into that for further videos. But yeah, this set is, is quite, quite stunning, uh, the way they've used the colors to sort of recreate that sort of classic Native American pattern. And, the, you know, that I'm pretty certain these oars may have been specific to this set. I'm thinking, I do recall the aeroplane set that had the uh, had the guy directing the plane. I'm not sure if he used that or if it was just Lego bricks. I'm not sure. But yeah, so this was Lego's, or probably the only Lego set that would, you know, raise a bit of controversy these days with, with it not one being advertised as Red Indians and two, the 
the sort of blatant use of the red plastic to depict the faces and the hands. Um, you know, the whole family. Um, actually, that's interesting. So we have two, I guess these are two young men. We have a little girl here, and of course the squaw with her baby. But I'm not, it didn't come with a chief, which is interesting. Would have been a nice figure to have had. But yeah, this was fun building this. It really was. And like I said, I managed to preserve almost all of it, missing the ore and the feather, but I can reattach this at some point with some super glue. But yeah, this, this certainly would not fly nowadays. Um, so there we go. Potentially Lego's most racist Lego set ever made. So anyway, I hope you liked looking at this because I sure as hell enjoyed building it and talking about it and just also doing the research was fun when I got to look back at the old pictures of, of the old bow and arrow sets and the, the wigwam that I used to have. So anyway, I thank you for watching and uh, please do like, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification and see you next video.